Hey there, it's me, V. I wanted to talk to you today about a life review. Now, those of us that have been in this spiritual arena for a while, we understand that when a human loses its humanness and goes back to its essence, to a soul, crosses over, passes away, whatever terminology you want to use, we are all faced with a life review. And we must look at the choices we've made, the decisions we've made, the things we've done in this life. Think about a Chris, uh, Christmas Carol, where he's visited by all of these energies, right? Um, the same is true when we're living. I believe that as human beings, a great preventative measure that we can take, both for the human and the soul, is to process our life, do a life review, at least quarterly. Now, this isn't about, you know, did I say bad words or, you know, it's not like a confession of any kind. It's really looking in the nooks and crannies of your life and wondering, where could I have been more in alignment with my soul? Remember years ago when they had those what would Jesus do bracelets? Well, I want to start a movement that says what would your soul do? Every day we're faced with challenges, right? Every day people are going to push our buttons. I've got a whole list, right? But when we are able to take a pause, take a break, and ask what would my soul do? Usually we can come up with a different answer. So how cool would it be if you were to pencil in a life review date with yourself? Take your markers, your colored pens, be creative, go sit under a tree somewhere, go sit by the water or get your cup of coffee and go to a coffee shop and hang out. What if you were to just write down the past quarter of your life and just kind of researched it? Not from a traumatic standpoint, you just want to kind of observe it. You want to be with it. You don't want to fall in it. You don't want to start telling stories about it. But you just want to look at the highlights, right? You're going to remember the things that stick out to you. And if there's something that you keep going back to, there's a sign. It needs a little something, something. So I would invite you to grab your books. I've got my little art book here where I have little pieces of art that I've created and and things that I've written and done that help me reflect. And I think no matter what you have, whether it's an art book or an old piece of paper and a pen, a scratch piece of paper, make a point to make a date with yourself to do a life review. I think you're going to find, no, I don't think, I know you're going to find this very helpful, very cathartic, and a very spiritual process. So when you need help with this, if you need help with this, I'm your girl. Think of me as your real life spirit guide. I want to jump in there and I want to help. When you're ready, if you're ready.